Well, hello and welcome again to our reading of Acts of the Apostles. We're up to chapter 13 and about verse 32. So this is still in the middle of Paul's speech. Um, Kaihemas kumas euangelizometha ten prastus pateras euangelion genomenen. Uh, and we proclaim to you the good news, and in opposition to that is the tain ep angelion, the promise, um, genomenen, it's from, this is a participle, aorist participle from um, ginomai, so which came to pass, or which happened, um, so which, which was given perhaps to the fathers. Um, that God ek peple roken, this is a perfect from ek play roo, and it means to fulfill, literally to fill up, so fulfilled, which God, um, perhaps hotty here, because God um, completed or fil fulfilled. Tautain is feminine, agreeing with the ep angelion, the promise. Um, so, because God fulfilled this for um, us, he mean, tois, technois, our tone, well, the our tone's in square brackets, but I'll translate it for, um, for us, their children. Anastasis, participle from Anhistami, having raised Jesus, hos kai as also gegraptai, it is written in the psalm, the second one, so in the second psalm, there's a variant reading here, um, and in fact the verse is from Psalm 2 verse 7. So, uh, sue, you are my son, Semeron, today I have begotten you from Genao, perfect here from Genao. Hoti, um, because an este sent out on, he raised him, ek necron, from the dead. We've seen that expression before, it's literally from dead bodies, but it's just from the dead. No longer Maketi, and it's may because we've got a participle. Melonta being about hypostrephane is to return literally into corruption, that is to go back into the grave again, and hence the body to be corrupted. Um, Hutos heroic and hoti, thus he says that, and we get another quotation here. Um, this quotation is from Isaiah 55.3, I think. Um, now, the Tahosia, in the Septuagint, Tahosia is often used for the mercies. It's literally the holy things, but often used to translate the mercies. And the Tarpista is secure or sure. So, for I will give to you the sure mercies and that's probably genitive here, of David. And Paul, of course, is quoting from the Septuagint, as he often does. Um, uh, Dehoti, because also he says, in another place, from uh, Heteros, and we get another quotation here, which seems to be linked. It's from, um, this one is from Psalm 16, and it seems to be linked with this other one by the use of this top tahosia, with a slightly different meaning. So I'll leave you to read the commentaries on how one connects these together. But uh, so it's literally, I will give to you the sure mercies of David. Um, wherefore also it says in another place, um, he will not give the his. So you will not give your Holy One, Idain, to see Diaphtharan, corruption. So it's linking together this corruption up here and the 
Hosea. Uh, day for David, um, Hoop er, uh, Eretesas, from Hoop Ereteo, this is to serve, the original meaning this actually was to be an, an under rower, but it came, comes to mean a servant, or to serve a Hoop Eretes as a lackey or something. Um, so, for David, having served in his own generation the will of God, Ekoimethe, he slept. So, this is from Koimao, and it goes into the passive. It, it's almost a causative. He was caused to sleep, i.e., he died. Uh, Kai pros etethe. Uh, this is an. Um, Aorist passive here from prostithemi. So aorist, uh, aorist passive. And he was laid um, pros tus parteris autu. Um, he was laid beside his fathers. This is in the tomb. And Aden de Ephtharan, he saw corruption. That is, he got buried and his body um, was corrupt. Um, and God, uh, so the one whom God raised did not see corruption. Gnoston un esto humin, this is an imperative here from the verb to be, so let, um, let there be so let it be known whom in to you. So let it be known to you or by you, um, men, brothers, so my brothers, that um, dear Tutor, on account of this, possibly this man, Aphesis, forgiveness of sins, uh, probably, or oh, sorry, it could be through this man. But so, dear Tutor, so know that through this man, that is Jesus, forgiveness of sins, cat angeletai, has been proclaimed, who mean to you, and from all these things, uh, so this is agreeing back with, I think, Hamatione, and um, from the sins which so it goes into the genitive gets attracted into the genitive because we've got the that's the antecedent here in the genitive so from all the sins which you were not able to be um, made just by the law of Moses so he says um, through this man Forgiveness of sins has been proclaimed to you, uh, and from all those sins um, in regard to which you were not able to be made just by the law of Moses. It's a slightly difficult Greek there. This is from the um, the Alpha Privative plus. Um, sorry, the, the, this is this is from from Dunamai. So you were not able, and the 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 form of this, this past tense form, is it goes into the um, into the passive, but you were it's almost you were not well it you were not able basically is what it means, and the you get a double augment which is very odd here in the in from this verb, so of which you were not able to be made just by the law of Moses. Uh, everyone who believes, everyone believing in Tuto, in this man, Dikai Utai, is made righteous. Blepete un, be, look therefore, so um, note therefore, lest the thing having been spoken, this is the aorist part, the perfect participle from Lego, the thing having been spoken in the prophets, so beware lest this come against you, so let, lest this befall you. And now we get a quotation from Habakkuk 1.5. Uh, 
that which was spoken in the prophets. Behold, hoi kata phronetai. It's lit literally, um, behold, you who are the despisers. Um, and we get two imperatives here. Um, be amazed, and aphinastatai, lit literally, be made invisible. So, um, wonder and be destroyed, because... Um, I am working a work in your days and now this is not bold this has been added in here it's not part of the quotation a work which you will never believe even if someone might relate it to you so this is from Ek and D. Hegeamai to relate so even if someone told it to you plainly. Now that's the end of his speech and now we get a genitive absolute. So as they were going out, this is from X plus that um, root of Amy Ibo uh, of going. So as they were going out, this of course is Paul and Barnabas. We're not told what the subject of this verb is, so the people who were in the synagogue were inviting them in the well it's literally in the intervening sabaton week but uh, probably more likely on the next sabbath metaxu in classical greek means between but later on it tended to have the meaning of the next one so they were inviting them on the next sabbath or rather, they were in. They were inviting. And the get grammar here is slightly odd again. So you'd expect them to say inviting them, but in fact, it's um, they were inviting these words to be spoken to them on the next okay. Sabbath. So they were they were asking for these words to be to be spoken because this is an aorist passive infinitive here to be spoken to them on the next Sabbath. Another genitive absolute. This is a. This is from Luo. This is the. Uh, uh, this is the participle feminine passive aorist passive participle here. So when the synagogue was dissolved, so when the meeting at the synagogue was was dissolved, many of the Jews and of the pious proselytes were following. And it takes a dative, were following Paul and Barnabas. Those who, um, uh, now the hoitines is referring back to Paul and Barnabas. So the very ones who were speaking to them, speaking to them, were, it's probably inceptive, were trying to persuade or perhaps urge, so were urging them. It is from patho, it's the imperfect. So perhaps we're encouraging, urging them, persuading them, prosmenane, to remain in the grace of God. And on the coming Sabbath, skedon, here is something like almost, pasa he polis, almost the entire city, they was gathered to hear the word of the Lord and the Jews having seen the crowds it placed their son this is from that um, verb of filling they were filled with uh, envy zealous they were filled with envy and they were and blaspheming they were contradicting the things being said by Paul so they were speaking against the things that were said by Paul um, uh, and Paul and Barnabas paraasia sarmenoi taking or speaking boldly apan they said 
it was necessary and uh, an anchion whom in for us proton firstly um, well for the word of God to be spoken it's a, again an aorist passive so there was need for the word so it's literally there was need for the word of God to be spoken firstly to you I should say so hey min, uh, so whom in to you so it was necessary firstly for the word of God to be spoken to you a payday and since Apotheosis. This is from apotheo to push away. So since you have pushed it away, since you have rejected out on it, agreeing with logon, and um, you do not judge outus yourselves. Now this form is used of themselves or yourselves in New Testament Greek. Classical would do something a bit different, but outus is used for either themselves or yourselves, and here it's yourselves. So since you do not judge yourselves worthy of eternal life, two termination adjective, so this is masculine ending even though it's feminine, uh, behold, strephometha, we are turning, probably middle I think, we are turning to the Gentiles. Hutos ga for thus the Lord en tetaltai. Now that verb is from en telemai. En telemai. So this is a perfect form here from en telemai. You get a vowel gradation. You lose one of the lambdas, and there's the ending. So it's from en telemai to command. So, for thus the Lord commanded us, and we get another quotation, this time from Isaiah 49, 6. Tethaka, perfect from Tithami, I have placed you as a light of the, for the Gentiles. Literally, a light of the Gentiles, for the Gentiles. Two plus infinitive for purpose, and the subject is se. So, that, so for you to be literally for salvation as far as the end of the earth so it's something like that um, you to bring salvation you would say in English but it's li literally to be uh, for salvation as far as the end of the earth and the Gentiles uh, hearing so this is new to plural participle Echiron, imperfect, they began to rejoice and they began to glorify the word of the Lord. And as many as were tetagmenoi, this is a perfect uh, passive participle from Tasso, as many as were arranged or perhaps appointed for eternal life, epistusan, they believed. Dear Ferreto, and the word of the Lord was being carried through the whole of the land. But the Jews, para otrunan, this is from para plus otruno is the verb, this is the aorist. But the, the, the Jews um, stirred up. Now, the pious women, the, the believing women, the you scam on us, the well dressed ones, so the well to do um, believing women, and the protus, the, the first men of the city, uh, and they raised up a diogmos. Now, diogmos is a persecution or dioko, it's from the verb dioko to chase after, and later Greek means to persecute. So they raised up a persecution against Paul and Barnabas, and they cast them from their borders. But they, ek tinaxaminoi, this is from ek tinasso, is the verb. Tinasso is to shake, this is to shake off. 
Conis is the word for dust, but we also get this diminutive coniorton, for coniortos is another word for, for dust. Uh, it's not really a diminutive, I suppose, but it's another word for dust based on the root conis. Uh, but they, having shaken off the dust from their feet against them, they went into Iconian. They went to Iconian, which is uh, modern-day Konya. This came under Roman influence in about 65, became part of the Roman Empire in 25 BC. It's referred to in many places in um, classical literature. Um, they went into Iconium and the disciples were filled with joy and with the Holy Spirit. And that's the end of chapter 13.